Rehogochi is a small community in the transitional zone between the Sierra upland country and the deep canyons to the south. Fewer than 50 families live in scattered houses or ranchos along the five kilometer long valley. Distance between neighbors is not usually a matter of choice, but of survival, as arable land is scarce. Esteban, who was born in Rehogochi, has witnessed most of the changes that modern society has introduced into Tarumara family life. In cambio, muchos hay, pues, en otras partes, por ejemplo, verdad, por decir, en Cusara, verdad, hay muchos cambios que que ellos ya no, pues ya no utilizan en las palabras, como se dice en Raramuri, ya ellos son ya en puras castillas, verdad, esos. Eh, hay muchos cambios aquí que ya, ya no le gustan hablar en sus idiomas, ya por decir que ya les dan vergüenza a este platicar su idioma mejor en el español. The nuclear family forms the basic unit of Tarumara society. Many households in Rehogochi often comprise the extended family. Tarumaras may marry as early as 15 or 16 after a brief courtship. Parents or officials sometimes arrange marriages, but most often it is the boy and girl who decide. Uh, muchos vivimos con nuestros papaces y muchos pues construyen pero casa así cerca pero no tan tan retirado. Hay muchos que compran terreno y hacen casa ahí cerca de su terreno para no no este ir tan lejos pues, pero siempre. En este vivimos con nuestro papá. Siempre, siempre no nosotros no, no nos retiramos tan lejos, ¿verdad? Así como se dice en la ciudad que pues que en el teléfono, ¿verdad? Lots of people that I know in um, Rehoochi had were married three or four times. And then they finally find somebody they really like, they settle down with them, and then they're married for life. So it's kind of a, um, you couldn't really say there's a, a, a high rate of divorce because um, there really is no divorce in, in the sense that we have. At the center of Rehogochi is the community's Jesuit school and a newly built cooperative store. Since 1991, Esteban has taught at the school. About 55 children from Rehogochi attend class. <laughs> Silvia, the school's only registered teacher, originally came to Rehogochi as a volunteer, but later returned to teach full time. Together with a Tarumara assistant who was a former pupil, Silvia teaches the children to read and write in Spanish. Math and history are also taught. Overcoming the language barrier between Tarahumara and Mexicans is viewed as critical if the two societies are to achieve greater mutual understanding. Between classes, the children play basketball. It is an increasingly popular sport as church and government built concrete courts are now widespread throughout the Sierra. Traditional Tarahumara games, such as this one filmed in the early 1960s, are still enjoyed in Rehogochi, though with decreasing frequency. Born amidst some of the most precipitous terrain on earth, the Tarumara are conditioned from childhood to run long distance races. In the 1930s, American anthropologist Robert Zing filmed the start of one race. 
Here, competitors kick a small wooden ball over a prescribed course, which usually spans over mountains and across rivers. In the late 1890s, Norwegian anthropologist Carl Lomholtz, perhaps the most famous chronicler of the Tarumara, stood in awe of their running. Lomholtz recorded that Tarumara men had been known to travel 600 miles in as little as five days. Tarumara girls too run races with hoops and sticks. Naturally, these competitions are a source of much delight on the sidelines, not the least because a good many bets are placed on the outcomes. <laughs> 